work. During the past four years, the commercial vacancy rate in our district has ballooned. I intend to work with the Glendale staff on refilling these vacant storefronts and offices. Having commercial buildings filled, filled again enhances our neighborhoods by providing essential shopping experiences. Did you know that small businesses make up 70% of the earned revenue in this country? It is critical that our city reaches out to small business owners and develop new strategies to retain them. Even though the overall crime rate has dropped in Glendale, the serious of the seriousness of the crimes has not lessened. Drug houses in our neighborhood are a major concern of mine. I will work closely with and monitor the progress of our police department to combat these types of serious crime. I am a candidate for the Barrel District City Council because I know I can deliver more effective and timely representation with an undivided attention. My focus is on our district and its needs. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Barrel District needs a change in representation to someone who's committed to the needs of our residents, not downtown or just West Glendale. It needs to be someone who will do so day in and day out. It needs someone who will listen to their needs and concerns and act effectively on them. The time for change is now, and I am that someone. Thank you. Good afternoon. I want to thank the uh, Glendale Women's Club for having this forum and uh, for inviting me to participate. I'm Manny Martinez. I represent the uh, Choya District up in the northern part of the city. Uh, but a year ago, people started asking me, uh, Manny, are you going to uh, run again? And my answer was, yes. Uh, and then some would ask, why? I said, well, the reason was, there's many, many reasons why. I said, but one of the reasons is, uh, you know, I've been fortunate to have been on the city council for what I consider to be the most exciting period in the city's history, the good times. And although I know no one is indispensable, I said, I feel that uh, I can help in getting us through these difficult times. But I also said, and we have a lot of challenges ahead of us, we do, I said, but I'll just let me name three, and I said, I'll refer to them as A, B, and C. A for the arena, home of the Coyotes, B for a budget deficit that we were facing, and C for a casino that was being proposed in 91st Avenue in Northern. Let's get back to the arena. As you all know, the city owns the arena. We owe a lot of money on it yet. We'll be paying on it for another 25 years. And we must keep the Coyotes playing at that arena. And recently, the council took two actions that will go a long way towards making sure that that happens. A resolution with, uh, that approved a memorandum of understanding with Ice Edge Holdings, uh, and who are currently now negotiating with the National Hockey League for the purchase of the, of the team. The second resolution that we passed was the, to form a community facilities district, a legal entity which will enable, or rather would generate monies to offset any team losses. I feel confident that the Coyotes will be playing in Glendale for many, many years to come. Casino. We do not need a casino at 91st Avenue in Northern. The council passed a resolution to that effect. There's a lot of reasons again for that, but let me name just a few reasons. And, and a couple have already been mentioned. One, a sovereign nation coming to the city of Glendale. And they would not have to abide by any of our ordinances, uh, and they could build anything that they want at that location. Secondly, as a sovereign nation, they would pay no state, no county, no city taxes. Third, and by not paying any taxes, this puts all those businesses out in the west part of the city at a severe disadvantage, especially our hotels and restaurants, not to mention the investment that the city of Glendale has. And fourth, it is estimated that it's going to cost the city at least $3 million a year in added public safety costs. And there's other reasons, but uh, I'll stop there. Now, as I said, we have a lot of challenges facing us, 
but I do want to compliment our economic development staff for really a super, superb job that they've done during our so-called Great Recession. Because in the last uh, two years, they still have been able to bring in businesses with, I think, over 2,000 jobs. And some of those, most of those are good paying jobs. <coughs> jobs, for example, with, with Humana, DeRay Institute, expansion of, of Conair, and there, there's one uh, recently at uh, Glendale Healthcare uh, in the Saguaro District. And there are others. So even though times have been difficult,